We finished university and started applying for jobs and I was sort of unemployed for about two months um, and it was really quite disappointing to have worked so hard and I thought I had, you know, um, some good skills, like I can, I can speak German um, and I had a politics and business degree so I thought I'd be okay to get a job but the job market's been that dire that I sort of thought I'm going to have to completely change my plan. So I started making sort of inquiries about setting up a business. I had a different idea originally. And I, then I started sort of looking around for opportunities and I, I stumbled across here and I, I didn't even know what it was. Um, it was just, it just looked like offices. There was no sign outside. Um, I'd certainly never heard anyone talk about it. But there was a business for sale sign outside. So I phoned the estate agents, had the stuff sent over, and then I thought, you know, this is a, a great opportunity for clean and budget accommodation right in the city centre. Did all my research and there's nothing really like it. Um, I know you've got the likes of the bigger budget hotel chains, but in city centres they're really not cheap at weekends. You, you know, can pay up to £85 for the, just the room. Everybody warned me, you know, having your own business, there's no rest from it. It's seven days a week. And I sort of looked at it through rose-tinted spectacles. I thought, yeah, it's going to be hard work, but I can do it. You know, I worked hard at uni. But it's just like, it's been so gruelling. I've been like managing everything from the business accounts to advertising it to cleaning toilets at times because we haven't had the staff. It's been really, really, really tiring. I guess we're just wanting to keep on growing and increasing awareness. Um, we need to really uh, concentrate on getting sales to get people through the door to be able to pay for the, the repairs we need. and the renovation so that's my priority at the moment is marketing and selling the idea but I think it's just gonna fingers crossed just grow and grow.